Ice seals, that's a kind of a general or catch-all term for species of seals that are strongly associated with, with ice, and in particular, seals that spend their reproductive season in the sea ice. And on the Pacific side of the Arctic, in other words, in Alaska waters, we have four species that fall into that category, and those are bearded, ringed, spotted, and ribbon seals. The agency, NOAA, has been petitioned to list all of these species as threatened or endangered under the, the ESA, the Endangered Species Act. There is a concern about these species because of their strong association with sea ice and, and the concern about the fate of sea ice in a disrupted and warming climate. And they're very important as traditional resources of Alaska Native people. So most of the coastal communities in northern Alaska depend on these species for food and, and cultural resources. We've been working on these species since well before the agency was asked to list them under the Endangered Species Act, but the urgency has ramped up quite a bit, and so we've been working sort of extra hard in the last few years to try to fill in some important gaps about just basic things like their, their population sizes, like their numbers. For example, we just completed a very uh, large and intensive aerial survey of seals throughout the Bering Sea and the Sea of Okhotsk. And the results from that are going to provide really the first reliable estimate of the numbers of these species in those areas. And then the research cruises that we've had in the Bering Sea have been really productive and a typical day out there would be we get to go out and motor through and amongst the ice flows, which is a really fantastically beautiful, can't call it a landscape, I guess, a seascape. And when a boat spots a seal, then we use radios to get the help of one or two of the other boats nearby and approach it, trying to be really stealthy and just creeping up on the ice flow that it's on and then and getting out and running up to it with basically a big, it's like a fish landing net and, and trying to get the seal into the net. So when we've caught a seal in the landing nets, the procedures are all pretty benign. It's measuring and weighing, taking some little swabs, a little snip of skin from the hind flipper that tell us about their health and condition, their genetic relationships to other seals, diseases, things like that. And then putting on the tags, the tracking tags. Typically we glue those tags to the hair of the seal using a quick setting epoxy or a kind of super glue, and that allows us to track a seal for usually something on the order of 8 to 10, maybe almost up to 12 months. And one of the things we have to do under the Endangered Species Act for any species that we list is designate what's called critical habitat, in other words, the habitat that's essential for persistence and recovery of the species. And so NOAA is in the process of drafting proposals for critical habitat for ringed and bearded seals. And the satellite tracking work that we've done has been a pretty important part of the, the scientific support for what those critical habitat designations will eventually look like. So one of our hopes is that the work that we're doing now and the data that we've been collecting will serve as a reference point in, in the future, either the near future or in some cases maybe the very distant future, for whether changes have taken place in these populations so that there will be enough quantitative information to make reliable, sound decisions about listing uh, or hopefully delisting these species that have been given protection.